Hi, konnichiwa. Um, good afternoon. The Japanese say the good afternoon. My name is Mitsuko Takea, and today I will do a demonstration uh, Japanese ikebana arrangement. And uh, this one I will do uh, the showing a water deflecting style. So this style is a uh, uh, more showing a uh, uh, water and uh, slanting. So. Um, a little bit complicated, but step by step I try to show you. So uh, let's we do it together. And uh, then today's uh, Mateo, I use this is a uh, pussy willow and uh, rose roses and other little fear is uh, uh, this pink flower. What was what was it? I forgot. Oh, uh, geranium. Are you geranium? Yeah. Geranium. Okay. So let me uh, uh, I tell down there. I show you step by step. And, uh, here, geranium. Geranium and a rose. Uh -huh. Geranium. Okay. So let me I take out this one and. Uh, uh, oh, I, I cut just a little one piece of begonia. Oh, uh, the Japanese arrangement, they often use a begonia. So if you have a begonia in your home, you can use for arrangement. And uh, sometimes if you need a filler, if you, if you have this kind of small uh, mateos, then you don't have to go buy. You can use uh, for your yard uh, mateos. So it's nice to have a... Uh, uh, some materials in your house. Okay, so now I take out this. And so the material is a roses and a, a pussy willow. Okay, and also uh, before I explain, I use a, I use a frog, it's called Kenza. And this is made from iron. So never broke, you can use forever. And so now I try to use, I do a uh, pussy widow. And uh, this pussy widow, the original, when I saw the my yard, they looks like this, but I cut and I clean up, then I make like this. So the Japanese arrangement, you try to, as much you could try to simplify. Okay, so this is the subject. Subject 72, 72, 80 degrees slanting to come into your shoulder. And now, uh, now need a secondary. So this is the subject coming to 72, 80 degree slanting. And also this surface is a 90 degree. So it's really, really slanting. Then now, uh, now you need a secondary. And secondary is a half of subject. And then also I cut the inside here. So this is a half of subject, it's a secondary. Same. And the same material I'm using. Then, then now I use, a, a, now rose is an object. And an object, object, object is a rose. Oh. So this is a uh, object. And uh, you know the uh, Japanese flower always, uh, the, if you have uh, three flowers, if you have uh, three flowers and uh, you decide, um, most beautiful flower you choose for object. And uh, then uh, a close flower, bud flower, you use it for uh, tall flower. So like when, if you have many, many roses, many flowers, always bud flower tall, and uh, most beautiful is object. And uh, then now this is a uh, tall filler. And uh, then uh, like a real open one, like a, uh, so maybe tomorrow is all open. So this flower you choose for, uh, we call yesterday's flower making small. And uh, today's flower, 
tomorrow, today, tomorrow, and yesterday. So making that way because uh, the, any kind of arrangement you can you can do. Uh, like if you have so many flowers, you don't know which way go tall, which way short. So always uh, bad flower, tomorrow's flower is tall, and uh, most beautiful flower you choose by uh, object. And uh, yesterday's, yesterday's flower is make it short. So yeah, uh, remember this. Uh, this is a very I think practical, and uh, I, I think good to know this. And okay, now. Uh, let me see, uh, that's good. Subject, and today's flower subject, and object, secondary. So this is a framework. Then now I fill up all our fill up. And uh, so now uh, I try to use that. Uh, so this one is the uh, Uh, this is one tall, tall flower. And uh, I'll usually use a uh, use a filler for like a desert farm or other kind of material. But today, uh, this uh, pussy willow the leaves are so pretty. So I use I use uh, all uh, uh, this material using for filler. And uh, now. Uh, uh, begonia is so pretty, and uh, I cut from my yard, and I just put in just a little, uh, little accent. But uh, it's not necessary. Uh, you don't have to use, but just an uh, accent. I, I use only one, one flower. And So this arrangement uh, uh, ex uh, express uh, the water name is a uh, water deflecting. So you showing water, and uh, the, we call this is called a negative space. So like uh, compared to Western flower. People think uh, you forgot some flower in uh, uh, this space because too much open. But this is just like a Japanese garden, Japanese pond have a the, the call a negative space is very important for ikebana arrangement. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I hope I hope uh, you like it. And uh, but this is a little little, little complicated. But uh, once you know, it's very interesting flower arrangement. Uh, thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you.